everybody. This is chapter 22.3 Turning Points. So, what is the turning point? It is a point where the gradient, gradient is zero. It is called a turning point. A and B are turning points because at any rate, dy divided by dx equals zero. A is called a maximum point. Here we go because it is higher than the point near it and B is called minimum point because it is lower than the other point near it here B A for example to find the you need to find the turning point of y equal x to the power 3 minus 12x plus 4 and state whether each is a maximum point or a minimum point first we have if y equal x to the power 3 minus 12 plus 4 so we'll have dy divided by dx equal to 3x to the power 2 minus 12 so at any turning point dy divided by dx should be equal to 0 therefore 3x to the power of 2 minus 12 must be equal to 0 so that means x is equal to 2 or minus 2. We will have if x is equal to 2, therefore y is equal to minus 12. So 2 is minus 12 is a turning point. If x minus if x equal minus 2, therefore y is equal 20. That means mm, minus 2, 20 is a turning point. A rough sketch make it look lightly that 2 and minus 20 is the maximum point. No, that's a mistake. Minus 2, 20 is the maximum point, and 2 minus 12 is the minimum is the minimum point. Here we go. So, how to find out if a point is a maximum or a minimum? For 2 and minus 12 we have this table it's just like try and error we have we will test for x equal 1.9 and then x equal 2 and then x equal 2.1 and if x equal 1.9 we have minus 1.17 and if x equal 2 that means 0 and if x equal 2.1 it means 1.23 as you can see the gradient went from negative 0 and positive Therefore, 2 and minus 12 is the minimum point. Because the gradient change, as we can as we can see, it moves from the left to the right. 2 and minus 12 must be a minimum point. So, for minus 12 and minus 2 and 20, we will test for x equal minus 2.1, x equal minus 2, and x equal minus 1.9. If x equal 2.1, we have dy divided by dx is 1.33. x equal minus 2, it means 0, and x if equal minus 1.9, it is minus 1.17. As you can see, the gradient went from positive 0 to negative. Therefore, because the gradient changes from positive to 0 to negative, as we move from left to right, therefore, Minus 220 must be a maximum point.